Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and today to answer a question that I get a lot which is Hey Robert, can I use my Android TV box as a PC with multitasking and several windows and so on and so forth? And the answer is yes, I've been giving that answer in writing but I believe that the best is to make a quick video like this one to explain. Now what we will need to do is first of all go to the Google Play Store and get the Sentiu OS which is a launcher. Have in mind for those that are not very familiar with Android you can install any launcher and then later on if you don't like it just remove it like any other app and we are ready to go now once we have the launcher installed we can select that launcher to be our home launcher so that every time that we boot our machine it will go directly to that and once we have it uh, we can start by customizing which is one of the things that I love about it we can uh, put on our desktop any app that we want on any position that we want which is really great I can also put my favorite apps on the taskbar on the left bottom menu as you guys can see and I can also access the apps if I go to a menu uh, Windows style on the left side where I can just press that button and it will open the menu with all the apps that I've got installed on my machine so it's a great way to customize uh, the device and this is one of the things that I really enjoyed since the, the beginning that I started to use this launcher now if we take a quick look at the options the options are very basic there are a few of them that are important uh, for the way that we uh, can use this launcher one of them is the alt tab which is really great here and I will show you in just a few moments but uh, just to say that if we want to go to the Android settings we can go as well and have a lot more settings without leaving the launcher itself now moving to the most important which is we have Android TV boxes like the billing GT King that I reviewed uh, a while ago and I will leave a link down below uh, which has four gigabytes of RAM it has the latest AM logic s922 X so a lot of performance just for uh, media playback so we can use it uh, for multitasking word excel and so on and so forth and this is the whole idea of the video so moving to the features of this launcher that we can take advantage of this kinds of uh, box now the first is that i can open any app that i want on a windowed mode so i can just resize that window to a smaller size to a bigger size whatever i want which is great and also besides having just one window on the desktop i can have several windows so i just recorded an example so that i could share with you guys where i have words i have excel and i have a browser as well i think uh, where i can just uh, select one and select the other one and the other so i can be typing on word and then i can go and get some data from excel and then i can search something on my browser without leaving the app then this is really awesome now one other way if you prefer that is to split the screen uh, in equal mode for two apps and I can select for example Word in one side and Excel in the other side so if I want to type and watching what I've got on my left side of the screen or on my right side of the screen then I can do that which is also great and for those that are asking hey Robert what about full screen yes we can also open any app in full screen which is really nice as well and expected of course now the thing that makes all this works is one of the options which is the alt tab which as you guys know on windows we can go through all the apps that we have open and right here we can do the same which is really awesome and as you guys can see by some images right over there while i'm working on an app on the left side for example or on the right side on split screen i can uh, move from one app to another just by pressing alt tab and if i go to my full screen app for example and if i want to return to one of the other apps that is either on split screen or either on uh, on a windowed mode than I can and one of the things that I really love about it is that the system remembers my last choice so it's going to uh, take me to the app on the size that I left and this is something that really saves me time especially when I'm multitasking on an Android machine and I want to concentrate on the work that I'm doing either on Word or Excel or something else and in this particular case the alt tab really works great and on all the launches that I've tested so far this is the one that is working with this feature that helps a lot now finally I want to reinforce that this is a launcher so if I want this launcher just to multitasking and uh, behave it like a computer but later on if I want to use it as a multimedia machine and I prefer another launcher uh, having a machine like the GT King for example which has four gigabytes of RAM and more than enough uh, CPU power I can open another launcher inside this launcher for example and I 
can use it like my Android TV box, which is one of the main reasons to have a box like this. And I can open code or uh, Netflix or whatever I want to do. I can watch a movie. By the way, if I want to watch a movie, uh, I would uh, press the button on the menu bar so that I can hide it. And then once I want to get back, just press the button again and I can get back to the launcher where we begin. So there is a lot of flexibility. There is a lot of stuff that we can do. One more thing before we go is that if you ask me, hey Robert, is this perfect? This launcher, this app? In my opinion, it's not. There is a little bug here and there. And this depends also on the firmware of the Android TV box and uh, the box itself and the integration with the launcher. So the bugs that I found so far is that sometimes I'm using an app and that app or the windowed mode or full size, sometimes it crashes and similar things, but very, very very occasional so I can work a whole day without happening anything and uh, sometimes for 10 minutes I will have an app that will just crash but this happens on any launcher not just this one so but it's just something that you guys can expect now one thing that I would like to ask is for those of you that are going to try leave a comment down below hey Robert I've got the box A or B or Y or X and it's working great and on this box is not working so good and so on and so forth so that we can grab uh, more information right over here so that the community can get that info and realize if it's good for their kind of scenario or not. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.